Howdy y'all, I'm Tim and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. If you know anything about MrMaple.com, we're a family mail order business and we ship directly to your door. We do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples and that's our calling card. But we do over a hundred varieties of azaleas. Check out these azaleas blooming here in front of me. But we also do a bunch of cool, interesting, rare plants. So today I'm bringing you five yellow foliaged plants. That's right. We're doing a little bit of the yellow dance today because we're bringing you five plants that have yellow foliage that aren't Japanese maples. I'm not even including conifers in this. Foliage first today, yellow plants. Guys, I'm standing here with Tilia cordata shibamichi gold. I mean, this is an upright tree. It was found and introduced by Akira shibamichi. So sometimes you see this under the name Akira gold. This plant is an upright tree that gets more and more yellow as the summer goes on. Now, if you know anything about Telia cordatas, they're good in zones three through eight. They're great for the bees. They put on blooms in June and July, and they're just a fantastic tree to have out in the landscape and garden because they add so much to the environment. But on top of that, guess what? Yellow foliage. I mean, this plant is amazing. I think one time I was offering these in seven gallons, and my good friend and mentor, Talon Buckholt, said, Hey, Mr. Kira Shibamichi is one of my good friends. You think you could ship me one of the Shibamichi Golds? Because this plant is outstanding. Now, when Matt and I were going to visit in Japan, we had the privilege and honor of meeting Mr. Akira Shibamichi. Shibamichi-san is an amazing plantsman who's introduced amazing plants such as Sky Pencil that you may see in many people's gardens, that Ilex Sky Pencil. You see that everywhere. He introduced that in Japan. Just to give you an idea, when it comes to introducing plants and knowing plants in Japan, he's one of the foremost uh, plant experts in Japan. And we, Matt and I, last time we went to Japan, we got to go sit down and visit with him. It was snowing. We got to go sit down and just talk with him and meet him and discuss plants. And that was such an honor and a privilege. But this plant is a piece of amazing plant history. To get a golden foliaged Tilia cordata is a game changer when it comes to Tilia cordatas. Mostly all the other selections of Tilia cordata are upright and they're green. There's some really cool dwarf weepers and some dwarf selections we're offering, but this is a foliage changer. It adds that yellow color in the landscape. And you know why I love yellow? It changes the colors where you see so many different colors out in the landscape. You can see every shade of green, and then you begin to contrast with every other color when you put that yellow in the landscape. Now, this one starts out as a little bit of a green yellow, and as the summer progresses, gets more and more yellow. So by the end of the season, this is an outstanding selection, selection that is just rocking it out with great yellow color. Now, one of our good friends, Barry Yinger, is one of the people who brought this back from Japan, originally from Shibamichi. And Barry, apparently he loves yellow plants too, because there's a, some other plants we'll be talking about today that he's had some influence on. But this plant is outstanding. You need Atelia cordata, Shibamichi gold in your garden. Contrast so well with the Japanese maples. Add something extra for the bees. Gives you some good pollen out there that the bees can enjoy. But this is just a great all around tree. Now, another tree that Barry Inger brought back from Japan, another plant that he brought back from Japan, is Coralopsis spicata aria, also known as Golden Spring, or sometimes known as Coralopsis spicata ogon. Ogon is Japanese for yellow, and this is a Chinese winter hazel. So what Chinese winter hazels are famous for is during the winter months, we're talking late winter, you have long blooms that hang down from the branches, and that gives you a really nice winter appeal. Again, that pollen during those late winter months is some of the first things that bees find as they're emerging from their hives. But Coralopsis spicata ogon, also known as golden spring, this plant is outstanding. This is a tree, a shrub that will make, basically a shrub that'll get five to six feet wide, three to four feet tall in 10 years. But the foliage has these long, these large rounded leaves to it. And you'll have sort of this apricot kind of color and the new growth fading to this yellow. And for a winter hazel, this gives you an, a yellow flowering shrub that you can use out in the landscape and garden. I love Coralopsis. 
they just they add that extra winter interest when not a lot of other things are blooming. So you add some really good fragrance, but then when this thing comes out, it really has that extra ornamental appeal in the garden. Golden Spring, this plant is exactly that. Golden Spring, but it's also Golden Summer. It's also golden in the fall. So this thing just keeps putting on this yellow display that you're gonna really enjoy with the additional interest of having those blooms as well. Flowering shrub, pair this with the Japanese maple, of course, and this thing's gonna rock it out. I've seen a lot of these growing in partial shaded situations. We re recently did a walkthrough of the Cox Arboretums and Gardens, and Tom Cox had an amazing golden spring almost at the entrance of his garden. And it's because this plant really puts on a display. This is something you can really add in the garden to add that yellow color and add that contrast. An amazing yellow tree. Guys, oak leaf hydrangeas are some of my favorite hydrangeas. They give that really cool appeal out in the garden that really seem to pair well with Japanese maples. That larger leaf stands out there, gives some really great foliage even when they're not blooming. And then they have these long white flower blooms that are outstanding when they are blooming. But this one's a little different. There was a cultivar that many of y'all may know, which is one of the oak leaf hydrangeas called peewee. It's a dwarf, compact, dense, dense little dwarf oak leaf hydrangea. Fits in a lot of small spaces. Well, they found a yellow sport on it in Olympia, Washington, which became Little Honey. Little Honey is exactly that. It's going to be dwarf, compact, and give you yellow color on an oak leaf hydrangea. So it has these large oak leaves, yellow color out in the landscape and garden. And then when it blooms, you get that additional interest of a bright white flower. Now, one of the things I love about the oak leaf hydrangeas too, is they typically give a really good fall color. So you really can get some really nice red fall color out of many oak leaf hydrangeas that you can't get out of many of the other hydrangeas. It's an excellent woody shrub to have out there in the landscape and garden. But then again, this gives you not only a flowering interest, not only a dwarf compact form, but this yellow color to fit in those small spaces and add that extra appeal in your garden. Little Honey, rock star when it comes to the yellows and one of my favorite hydrangeas, obviously, because it's yellow. Guys, everybody loves elm trees. And the reason they love elm trees is they're hardy and they're easy to grow. This is an Ulmus Hollandica selection. Now there was a narrow columnar form growing in Germany at an arboretum, and then they found a yellow sport on this columnar selection. So we've got here Ulmus Hollandica redii. The name's not so great, but the tree is. This is a plant that gets very tall and stays narrow, and it gives you bright, bright yellow color. So you've got a flagpole of yellow color. That is pretty special. This plant here will end up getting 12 feet tall by about five to six foot wide in 10 years. An awesome, awesome selection. Give this tree a lot of sunlight to really pick up the yellow colors on it. This tree just keeps rocking it out with yellow color. This is an excellent tree to put out in the landscape to add vertical interest. Pair this with something like a Twombly's Red Sentinel to add extra red interest with the vertical narrow shape with a Japanese maple out there, or pair it with something completely different to really add different textures. This plant is gonna rock it out in the garden with bright, bright yellow color. The foliage just gets to almost highlighter yellows in the spring, and it stays that for a big part of the season, adding an extra ornamental appeal. Now, this is an elm that's good zones five through nine. That means this is good everywhere your Japanese maples are, so it's a great tree to add out in the garden, especially for those gardens that you don't want to add a lot of extra shade, but you want to add vertical interest. Red eye, an awesome elm that you should be checking out with that yellow foliage. Guys, what I've got right here is Circe's Canadensis Golden Falls. This is a selection, a brand new redbud selection by NC State University by our good friend, Dennis Werner. He has revolutionized the redbud world and this one adds a unique leaf interest, giving it a bright yellow foliage on a weeping, cascading habit, as the name suggests, of Golden Falls. Now, red buds get their name because they get red buds that come along these branches, red flower buds, in the early spring. And that puts on an amazing display all by itself on this weeping, cascading 
red bud. But then as the yellow leaves begin to emerge on this plant, it adds a whole new dynamic and gives a lot of unique color in the landscape with that bright yellow color. Now, red buds are good zones five through nine, but this heavily cascading selection is an outstanding specimen to pair out there in the landscape with your Japanese maples or give you something yellow you can give a little more sunlight to than maybe some of your other yellow selections and really adds a unique ornamental appeal with some flowers in the early spring and then some yellow foliage. An awesome yellow plant for the garden. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed our yellow plants that are not Japanese maples, they're not conifers, but they're very unique and they add a lot to your garden. Guys, on MrMaple.com, we do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples, but we do a lot of other cool rare plants as well. So you can actually go to our website, you can shop by categories. So you can shop through Japanese maples, you can shop through conifers, you can shop through azaleas, but you can also shop rare plants to check out many of these other really cool plants that we've got that you may not be familiar with that add an extra ornamental appeal, especially with some yellow color. We appreciate you all watching today. Sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. Share this video with your gardening friends. And as always, we'd really appreciate if you shop with us on mrmaple.com. Take care, God bless, and have an awesome day.